Good afternoon. We're here uh, to talk about open heart surgery. My name is Wouter Marcus. I'm the CEO of Harmonix. And uh, I would like to talk to you about something seemingly simple that goes wrong every day. And now this is new for me because we have a little movie here. Um, the problem and the solution is going to be explained here. Open heart surgeries are complex and life-saving. And post-surgery bleeding has critical consequences. I want to talk to you about it a little bit better. Um, after surgery, the patient bleeds, that's obvious. But this bleeding actually uh, needs to be removed by the drains, which you see here. And they need to be kept open and clear. And if not, then the blood and the clots accumulate around the heart. Uh, this will actually uh, lead to excessive bleeding. That sounds counterintuitive, but that's the way it is. So you start to bleed more. And then a reoperation is needed during the night very often. And it happens during the night because you operated during the day. This all leads to the effect that you now see longer hospital stays, but the staff stress is also tremendous. Now, what does the surgeon do at night? He reoperates, removes the blood and clots, and then he flushes his face with warm saline. And as it went magic, the bleeding stops. So this is actually treating the patient, but then you have a reoperation of which we think it's unnecessary. Now, Dr. Kohlberg and our inventor said, why do we not do this preventively? It's as simple as that. So we flush the space around the heart preventively. That's the solution. So how does it work? We not only insert the tube, but we have an extra, uh, let's say, inflow line. And with that, we prevent all these complications, proven. Um, I think that's the, uh, the part that I wanted to show. Talk about proven. We have so far included 744 patients in five different trials in various hospitals. And what we've proven is that we reduce blood loss with 35% and we reduce re-interventions with 40% overall. Uh, the latest trial results are just recently uh, uh, known. And again, they're confirming what we do. Uh, Professor Clouds will be presenting here in Lissabon next month the overall results at the EACTS, which is uh, next month here in Lisbon. Um, this, of course, will also contribute to our CE mark, which we intend to apply end of this year. Now, how does the product work? What you see here on the left side is a console, and the console is uh, an automated, fully automated flushing machine. It has disposals for everything that is in contact with blood. But what you see on the top is also very important. On the top, you see a, a, a monitoring device. And our solution is not only a treatment device, the monitoring part is half of the solution because the doctors do not know whether this problem is occurring inside of your chest. So that part, what we measure there now, is blood loss and pressure around the heart. And with that, we can see a tamponade coming up. We have aims, and that's the beauty about it. Now we've created a pathway inside with which we in the future can measure more. So then we're going to the market. Now let's first talk about the competitive landscape. There's one party in the market, this is Clearflow, and they have a solution which is very manual. It solves the problem, but it's not accepted in the market because it's too manual and nurses need too much time. There's two companies, Sintiza and Medela, they have a solution that is not a solution for the problem, but it measures the problem. It measures blood loss only. And it has already traction in the market. This shows how much the problem is actually that needs to be solved. Um, what makes us unique is that we're the only one who prevent the problem and monitor. I think that's where we stand. Now, looking at our go-to-market, end of this year, we apply for CE. That means next year, somewhere in the course, second half next year, we'll have the CE. We first go to market in the Netherlands. Now, why if we have an FDA breakthrough in America? Because the clinics that we work with want our product now. And we cannot say, no, no, we'll first go to America. You invented the stuff, but that's not possible. Um, we will go to market with one price for the whole treatment, 750 euros in Europe and $1,500 in the United States. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the market size. 1.8 million uh, patients worldwide get cardiac surgery times the price is 2 million market. That's, a op that's an obvious one. Now we flush fully automated. What we're going to do in the future is make this more intelligent. And the value for uh, the patient there is that we actually can treat better. And treating better means adaptive. We have the patient outcome. We're measuring it with our device. And we know whether uh, increase of treatment or decrease of treatment or less patient time 
is uh, a good idea or not. And it also, we aim to, uh, to improve the sensors technique and measure more. For example, the current uh, measurement, we can already measure hemoglobin. We're not reporting it yet. The temperature inside, we can also measure whether there's an infection coming up or not. Those kind of things. Long-term future, every doctor who hears us asks, hey, I understand your idea. Can we flush medicines with this? Because I want to solve atrial fibrillation locally. Or I want to treat endocarditis with your system. Well, you can. That's longer term future. So that's the upside market where our market will further grow. Where do we stand as a company? Um, what you see on the left-hand side is what we have already done. Let's not talk about it too long because I think I have explained that the product is there. We're applying for CE and this end of this year. Um, next year, we, we aim first half of the year and we have the MGC approval already pending. Uh, um, a small 60 patient study to show what this device is, use, whether the usability is as good as we think it is. Um, CE application, then we commercialize slowly in the UA, EU, EU, and we do a larger study. Now, why is this larger study? In, the, in Europe, you need to do a post-market surveillance, and we combine that with the US market, half of the patient, and there is a, a submission study. Um, now, of course, for that, we're going to need more money. We're going to talk a bit about it a little more. But the commercialization and the go-to-market in, in the U.S. is very important for that. We do not only have an FDA breakthrough, we also have just recently granted a HardX program, which is an accelerator. It gives an investment, which is nice. But the nice thing is it gives us two hospitals which say, we want to do it, and we want to do it for free, not the ten, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 per patient that they usually treat. So there's a good, uh, good result there as well. I've seen a couple of pitches, and I'm going to tell what everybody's telling here. Great people, and I couldn't do without it. But I think the main message, and it's, it's really true if you look at the management, but also main, uh, most of the engineers, we've done it before. This is my fifth company. Luc Koch has done it also before with two other companies after you went away from Philips, and I can go all like this. We've done it. Um, I think the other part is we deliver up to promises. Yeah, and that's what our um, track uh, history has shown. Okay, we're here to talk about money in the end. What we're aiming for is a 15 billion Series B to be closed in the course of next year. Um, it is in a 100 million uh, um, revenue company. That's our aim to be in 2031. And we're going to use that money for uh, um, market access, and that's the commercialization part is the biggest chunk of that. You need to scale up. You need to build your materials. But we also know we're going to learn from what we're seeing in the market, and we need some further product development. And then the last one is, of course, this larger trial that I just spoke about. My invitation to all the investors, all of the investors in the room is, um, be a part of this and uh, improve patient care. That's why we do it and also provide the clinicians, the doctors, and the nurses peace of mind, because you give them peace of mind and night rest. And after all, it's a system healthcare cost that will be lower with this, so the economics works. I would like to thank you for your attention. Uh, I'm actually, uh, I can talk half a minute more, I think, but uh, let's not do that. I'm going to inv invite you to look at this uh, a little bit, because this is what doctors think about our system. And I think that the picture is Dave Kohlberg, and he's the inventor, but he is really sick and tired of this. We had a board meeting last week, and in the middle of the board meeting, he gets called away because he got a tamponade going on. That's what it's about. Thank you very much. <laughs>